Welcome back. We are in the 608 this morning for another fun day at the World Dairy Expo. Josh Spreider live at the Alliant Energy Center this morning. Uh, having some fun. Hey, Josh. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, back for day two of the World Dairy Expo this morning. We're live right outside the New Holland Pavilion. You can see everyone's up and at them already. You can see the cows are getting washed off this morning, even at this hour, getting ready for another full day of fun. And as we found out, there truly is something for everyone to experience this week. This is one of the first things you'll see when you arrive at the Alliant Energy Center this week for the World Dairy Expo. Katie Schmidt is back with us this morning, and there really is something for everyone here. There is, yes. Whether you are, you know, three and you just want to enjoy some ice cream, or if you are old enough to consume some adult beverages, there's happy hours, or if you just want to learn more about technology, there really is something for everyone. So we're sitting in the welcome wagon, the tram, this morning. So this is what brings people up to the venue. It is, yeah. This is the first thing you're going to see when you arrive and we just want to create that welcoming experience for our attendees and normally people who live in Madison are familiar with the, the influx of people that World Dairy Expo will bring into our community and we're going to see some of that this week but we're going to see fewer international guests this year when we think World Dairy Expo we think the global dairy industry which is great uh, but this year due to border restrictions and COVID-19 precautions uh, those folks just can't quite get here this year so we're going to see a few less of them in our community uh, during World Dairy Expo. After taking a year off, though, I'm sure there are a lot in the farming community that were happy to at least get some people together. Yeah, these dairy farmers have, you know, they haven't stopped, right? They're an essential business. They're essential to our food supply. So they're, they're still going every day, and they need places and things like World Dairy Expo to learn more, to reconnect, to talk with each other and see what they can do to make their farms better. So we mentioned there's stuff for all ages, family friendly stuff, but also some other uh, things going on too. Yes, so Thursday's a big day at World Dairy Expo. We start with a live taping of a TV show in the tan bark. Uh, so if people have ever wonder what that experience is like, this is a great way to check it out. Uh, we also have the brown Swiss cows in the show ring today. And when we name their champion, we actually have yodelers and uh, Swiss horns come from New Glarus. That's cool. It is, and they yodel the cows in. It is like chills every time. Tuesday, uh, we had bagpipers help with the Ayrshire entry. So uh, a lot of fun musical traditions here at World Dairy Expo for the family to enjoy. All right, Katie, so this goes through the weekend, so a lot for people to enjoy yet. Yes, we go all the way through Saturday, uh, about 5.30 is when we close down for the year, and then we look forward to next year. But that uh, end cap is the Supreme Champion Ceremony, which is also one of those really spectacles to uh, just experience in person. Awesome. Katie, we appreciate Appreciate it. Thanks for uh, helping us out here and welcoming us on the welcome wagon. Uh, thanks for having me. You bet. <laughs> The World Dairy Expo runs through Saturday, so you still have a few more days to check it out, guys. You can find ticket information up right now on channel3000.com. It's pretty cool to see all of the local connections I even have from back in Minnesota this morning, who I just interviewed there, Katie, guys. She's from Royalton, Minnesota, not far from my hometown as well. I interviewed a hometown girl yesterday on this program, so it's cool to see just how widespread that these folks come in to Madison for. You know, they're expecting usually around 60,000 people here every year this year not so much because of covid but just a huge boost for the madison market and there's also just so much for people to take in and really understand how important farming is for our industry guys yeah we know those folks really missed it okay leah what should we ask josh to do this morning hmm, find us a curter burger <laughs> <laughs> what do you got up your sleeve for later josh so later on, we're gonna get cheesy. That's all I'm gonna tease ahead coming up for our I next half it. hour, but we're gonna we're gonna make you hungry because that's what we do here in the 608 guys. So you'll want to stick around for the next segment. As long as he brings it back for us, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, Josh. We'll talk to you then. <laughs> Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. Reach out on social media or email him at in the 608 at wictv.com.